Hi all! There haven't been any new videos on my channel for a long time, but I'm here again with an Airsome tool. If you have difficulty with missing colors like I do, this tool is for you. A minimum of a thought and 10 minutes of your time and you will achieve this result. Well, ok, maybe more than 10 minutes, but you will definitely enjoy the process. Well, let's go! This tool consists of 3 sub-tools for contrast colors, similar colors and three other colors. I'm going to show you how it works on standard tot model in Surface Painter. Let's create base color layer with similar colors. Let's leave only color channel and choose main color of our tot. I want our tot to be turquoise color like this okay this is good and add distribution maps for saturation and value you can add it here you can choose any noise maps to make color more variable and tasty let's find something For example, this one is for saturation. And for example, this one is for value. And change the influence on the main color of these maps. You can do it here. The zero they have maximum effect, one they have no effect at all. Let's set something between. Okay. Well, now let's work with first complementary or additional color. Let's hide this. And this, uh, and choose a color blend map. Let it be uh, something like uh, this. Okay, it's interesting. And let's set color blend value. Mm, looks interesting. Let's set something like this. Let's uh, change value and saturation of this color. A little bit less saturation. And value. Okay. Uh, next, uh, let's add saturation and value distribution maps for this color. Let's add it here. For example, this one value. Uh, this one for example for saturation and uh, let's set values for this color uh, here and for example something like this look how interesting the color looks the more colors you mix, the more interesting and incredible the result will be. So far there are only two colors. Let's continue. We have one more additional color. So let's use it and create marble veins. 
it's uh, obviously it's good to use marble veins map uh, for blend map uh, here it is uh, let's add it here let's tune it a little bit uh, saturation correction let's saturate it and a little bit darker okay and blend mode one and again let's add distribution maps for saturation and value uh, let it be something like this Let's set it uh, here. And yeah. Okay. Let's set the values. Let it be something. And this. Another interesting thing about this tool is that you can change the angle between the main and secondary colors, which makes them more similar or vice versa. You can do it here. Continue working on the color using this tool and this is what you can come up with. But let's take a closer look at these layers. In this layer, contrast colors are used to create dark areas. For the main color, it's referencing the color map we got earlier. Main color, you can uh, see here color map. And anchor point on our previous color. A pre-prepared mask as a blending map with an additional color is used. Mask looks like this. Let me show you. Uh, it's a mix uh, of ambient occlusion and concave maps. Okay, the next layer, using the same principle, uh, the convex parts are highlighted. Uh, here, using the resulting color map of roughness was made. In this uh, layer, a mask for golden veins was made, uh, color for it and metallness. For more interesting result, an area around uh, the gold veins was darkened and uh, added some roughness in the last layer and darkened in the concaves. The result is incredible. Look at this color map. It is very interesting and with many details. And you can change the initial color and watch how the overall picture changes. Let's do it. Our first layer. Our first color. And look at this. It's literally incredible. Thank to everyone who watched my video till the end. I hope you found it useful. The link to this tool is in the description. Please ask questions in the comments or just share your impressions. Thank you.